what is up guys back with another uh, comparison here so we did this one like i think five months ago but i have a lot of new people that want me to do it again so uh, we're going to be doing the g8 versus the g7 uh so these phones are kind of close in price if you get them in the renewed uh space and if you get them new they are going to differ i believe the g8 renew is around 250 g7 around 200 and lower uh you can get these new for around 300 the g7 and the g8 i think goes for around 350 something like that uh, i'll put the links down below uh, because the prices are always kind of fluctuating uh, so let's go ahead and get into it so there has been a one minor change with the g7 uh, is the android 10 update which we will uh, talk about a little bit later but uh, both of these phones have the same design uh pretty much a glass and metal design they feel very premium uh, in the hand so i really like the way both these phones feel uh, i guess a minor difference with the hardware is the camera uh, so you do have like a raised camera bump on the g7 and the camera is completely flat on the g8 which is something I like. It looks much cleaner to me. Both these phones are IP68 dust and water resistant. You have your headphone jack on both uh, power button, volume rocker, and Google Assistant button all in the uh, same place along with your fingerprint scanner on the back uh, which is very fast on both. Uh, so one of the biggest differences with uh, both of these phones are the displays. So you have a 6.1 inch display on both uh, but on the G8 you have a P OLED display as opposed to the IPS display on the G7. Now both of these phones are 1440p displays so pretty much the same uh, resolution and the same pixel density at 564. Uh, so when you're watching videos uh, the only thing you're going to notice is the color difference and I just think that uh, the G8 display just looks better. You get uh, deeper blacks, you also get more vibrant colors and the screen is brighter uh, on the G8 so it's better for outdoors uh, compared to the G7. So the G7's display is not bad. Uh, one of the things I like about IPS displays you don't have to worry about screen burn issues uh, which I have seen with a couple of you know G8s on eBay and stuff like that so but honestly I've never had a screen burn problem myself so I don't think it's a big deal so if you're just uh, sold on which display is better uh, it's going to be the G8 uh, here most definitely uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the OS so I was really happy this year when the G7 got Android 10 so both of these are now running Android 10 and they're both very fast phones uh, as you can see see the G8 running the Snapdragon 855 and the G7 running the Snapdragon 845 with the Adreno 640 on the G8, Adreno 630 on the G7. Both of these phones are fast and can play games on high settings whether it's uh, Fortnite, Call of Duty, uh, you know PUBG. Uh, you will have a very good gaming experience but you are, if you're just a serious serious gamer then the 855 is the way to go especially for a future proof uh, chip here so if you want to get the most out of your game uh, then the 855 is definitely better and uh, it's just slightly faster experience on the G8 uh, as well but the G7 as you can see is just very fast it's keeping up uh, no problem so both of these phones have micro SD support as well you have 128 gigs of storage on the base model on the G8 and 6 gigs of RAM and you have 64 gigs of storage and 4 gigs of RAM on the base model on the G7 so you get more storage on the G8 uh, so uh, RAM management is definitely a little bit better on the G8. You will be able to keep uh, more applications open in the background uh, due to that extra two gigs. Now cameras are also uh, you know, a nice upgrade on the G8. You have a 12 megapixel standard and a 16 megapixel ultra wide on the G8. 4K, 30 or 60 FPS video. Uh, the selfie camera is an 8 megapixel, shoots in 1080p. Uh, you also have a dual camera setup on the G7, a 16 megapixel and a 16 megapixel ultra wide, 4K, 30 or 60 FPS. 8 megapixel front uh, that is 1080p. Uh, so as you can see from these comparisons, uh, I like the G8 overall for just photos in general, um, but sometimes I prefer the G7 for the indoor photos, especially uh, for the vibrant color sometimes. Uh, sometimes you can get like a dull color on the uh, G8 sometimes as you can see, but both of these phones are great, but if I was going to give a winner, I would go with the G8. And the same for video. Uh, video just looks definitely a little bit sharper, a little bit better on the G8 uh, as well. So if you're trying to 
to choose between these two phones for the uh, camera or if you want to know if there's a big difference uh, I will go with the G8 again for uh, just the overall better camera here now as far as the single firing speaker I'll go ahead and let you hear but I prefer the G7 speaker slightly louder than the G8 uh, and it, I think it's just better quality overall um, but they are very close so I'll go ahead and let you hear them for yourself All right, so both of these phones do have NFC, uh, which is great as well. And they have pretty much all these same features uh, with this Android 10 update from uh, the dark mode to the always on display uh, to the uh, one handed mode. So everything that's on the G8, you will have on the G7. I just want to clarify that. And uh, yeah, so everything is great. So music listeners, uh, both of these phones are really great uh, if you want to really get into uh, music listening. So the uh, face ID is something that I never really talk about, but it is much better on the G8 it's got 3D face ID and you have the little uh, you know finger or the hand ID sort of thing which I don't really use because it doesn't really work that well for me but you do have that on there uh, so let's go ahead and talk about the battery life uh, because that is very important and it's a big uh, difference here so you have a 3500 milliamp battery on the G8 uh, with 21 watt fast charging so it does charge much faster than the G7 uh, with wireless charging as well on the G7 you have a 3000 milliamp battery with 18 watt fast charging uh, with wireless charging as well uh, so I've done a uh, battery drain test on both of these phones so if you want to see that uh, do check that out uh, but the G8 is going to give you much better battery life you're looking at around 8 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time as compared to the G7 6 hours and 30 minutes of screen on time so big difference uh, with the battery life there so overall if you have a G7 and you're thinking about upgrading to the g8 and if it's worth it then most definitely go ahead and get the g8 it's definitely worth it at the cheap price uh, that it is now now if you don't have either of these devices and you're trying to choose between them because you might be trying to save money I would still go with the G8, save up your money, and just get the G8. I do think it's the uh, better device, a worthy upgrade over the G7. So uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one.